Hey guys, it's me Desiree Marie and as you can see I'm in the middle of doing my hair but I thought what better time than now to answer a lot of you guys questions. Yes, welcome to the lock chat where we will be doing short videos adjusting a lot of you guys questions about lock maintenance, lock care, and all that good stuff. So yes, I will be addressing some questions that I got from you guys. So here goes. One question from a subscriber named OG Healthy Locks. Hey, he asks the question, how do you maintain the frizz? So in between my wash dates, I do have a lot of frizz in my hair as you see in the previous videos. What I do to maintain the frizz is to wrap the loose hairs around the lock. I, I check out my lock and whatever loose hairs that are string outside of the lock, I try to grab those hairs and twist them around the lock. Not too tight but loosely so that the hairs would not stand out. Also, a lot of my ends, um, they, they look stringy, especially while I'm maintaining it and managing it. It appears to be very stringy, so what I do is I take the ends and I loop it around the lock as well. And um, that should help you maintain the frizz in the meantime. If that does not help, I would suggest covering your hair um, until you wash your hair and do your retwist. Covering your hair with a bonnet, with a, a cap, with hats, just get creative with it. I have a video where I talk about how I wrap my hair with scarves, so that should help you in between your wash dates, maintaining the frizz and just dealing with that because as you know, um, in your baby stages, you do have a lot of frizz. <laughs> So if you can just maintain your frizz in those ways, you would get through it. Stick with it, all right? Okay, the next question is um, from Kisha Renee. Hey girl. And she said, oh, how does yours already look like locks? I'm four months and a week in and they still just look like two strand twists to me. Any advice? So I would say to you, um, Try not to compare yourself to other lock sisters and brothers. Don't compare yourself because you may have a different texture of hair. Um, you may have a, a, a looser texture. Don't compare yourself with others. Just embrace your journey because your hair will lock. Um, my hair locked quickly because I didn't really mess around with it and I you know I think maybe it's because of the fact that I, I I spray my hair a lot with water your hair loves water so I spray my hair I wash my hair when it feels dirty I'm not afraid to apply water to it water helps to lock your hair a lot faster so try water if you are not seeing the results that you you want to try water and try not to fuss around with your hair and just let it let it be for me I'm very low maintenance with my hair I when I take a shower I don't cover my head I just allow the moisture of the, the shower water to get into my locks also I don't fuss around with my hair very much I just really let it let it be. Try not to manipulate your hair too much with uh, pulling it up and styles. Just leave it be and keep on top of your moisturizing routine. Um, wet your hair daily and don't compare yourself to other lock sisters and brothers. Stay, stick in there. You will see your hair lock. Your hair will lock according to its timing you know your hair has a, a brain of its own you really can't speed up the process you just have to let it be so yeah just be patient with your process it's your journey that you're on so embrace it embrace your your hair try not to look at your hair too much that's another thing I realized like when I just started locking my hair that I would always be looking at my hair always touching it always assessing it and seeing whether or not it's locking so try to keep your hands out of your hair don't be so fussy and check up on it every five seconds so that should help <laughs> okay another question comes from Erica Stevens hey girl 
and she said I have starter lock comb coils they're six weeks old they were put in by a stylist so far in six weeks my hair has been washed once by the stylist and once I did how often should I wash my hair um, my next retwist is scheduled in January um, and then she goes on to say how she covers her hair so how often should you wash your hair I'd say wash it as often as it feels Me. dirty um, if you use a lot of products in your hair throughout the week a lot of oils and gels your hair will weigh down and it will uh, have the appearance of being dirty or you may feel like it's dirty when you feel it's dirty then you wash it but um, if you don't use a lot of products throughout the week then your hair may not need to be washed so often but I'd say just assess your hair and see what what you feel if you feel like it's dirty wash it don't be afraid to wash your hair um, as often as possible because your hair will begin to lock a lot faster so wash it as often as you feel is needed that's my advice because a lot of the times when we start our locks we're we, we feel like we shouldn't wet it we shouldn't um, wash it we should leave it alone and, and and keep it dirty for long periods of time and be afraid of water I don't believe that I feel like your hair needs it needs the water as much as possible and the the shampoo also helps to redefine your curls which causes your locks to form so wash your hair as often as possible don't be afraid of the water don't be afraid of the shampoo do it <laughs> It will help your hair and your hair will love you for that. This question is from Ray Sosa and hey Ray Sosa, she said, tell me why I sleep with two different two, two different types of bonnets at night and they both find their way off my head in the middle of the night. Same here. <laughs> she said, lol, it's ridiculous. And where did you get that hat? So if you saw my last video, I wore like a yellow bonnet hat. Um, I believe that was purchased. Where was that purchase? That a local vendor um, in New York. There are many, you know, outside kiosk vendors. But you know what? I will link down below where you can find a bonnet just like mine. How about that? And it's not expensive at all. It's like less than like eight dollars. So yeah. But I do suggest that you wear a protective um, layer inside because it, it that that bonnet has cotton and the cotton will definitely stick to your hair and cause for lint buildup. You don't want that. All right, so the last question, last question is from, let's see. Oh, okay, it's not a question, but it's a statement that I'd like to address. And she's, um, it's from lovely Monique. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Oh, okay. The steamer is trying to tell me that it's almost finished. So maybe this video was almost finished too. Um, Monique, lovely Monique 5380 says, I just started mine with braids. I love it, but I hated it last week. Crazy, right? I keep watching these lock videos for inspiration. I was loose natural for five years, but every time I twisted my hair, um, I wanted to lock my hair but I hope I don't give up so I want to address you guys that are in the, you're in your baby locks stage and you're a little you're you're on the fence still you're trying to test it out see whether this lock journey is for you or not um, and you're just hoping for the best stick in there your hair like I said your hair will lock you just have to stick with it your hair requires your patience it requires you to just leave it alone and believe me if you keep looking at inspirational videos you're going to be so inspired and motivated to keep your hair in locks like look at pinch I, I mean personally i love to look at pinterest i love to see other lock sisters and brothers that have full like mature locks i love even looking at a lot of you guys that are on your journey as well and it's so inspirational like once you keep that around you that will block out whatever negative voices that you may be hearing within your head or you know from other people stick in there this is your decision for your hair don't allow anyone to deter you from what you want to do with your hair because they may not like it now but 
they'll like it later all right so stick with it stick on your 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 you know maintenance and and your hair will lock it will look beautiful um you said you started with braids you go ahead girl keep the braids in and allow your hair to mature according to its time I understand that braid locks mature a lot slower so just be okay with the process if you if that's what you want for your hair be okay with the process do it stick with it and yes there are a few other locked um, braid lock sisters and brothers I will lock up uh, I will link their information down below for you so that you can follow them as well if you're not they have beautiful hair the hair is flourishing right now so yes go check them out and stay inspired on your journey whatever way that you started your hair stay on your journey stay focused and know that we're in this together okay we're all in this together our hair we're gonna look back at our hair and realize how we are so thankful that we stick we stuck with it okay a lot of the times I wake up and I'm like what's going on with my hair it doesn't look like this person that person it's so important not to compare yourself to anyone else but embrace your journey okay so that wraps up our first lock chat my hair is about to um, be retwisted but yes I am so excited to do these videos if you have any more questions comments frustrations list your 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 comments down below and I will address them in a future video I understand that I didn't get to address a lot of other questions I will be addressing them in another lock video and I will be doing this weekly so keep on with the comments keep on with the 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 questions I'm so excited so yes um yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.